like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds if you want V-Bucks here in Fortnite. Before we get started with today's video, I would like to let you guys know I am gifting my subscribers free battle passes and free skins and any cosmetic from the item shop. If you want to receive a gift, simply subscribe to the channel, turn all notifications on, drop a like on this video, share the video, and comment down below your Epic Games username, letting me know which cosmetic you want from today's item shop. And if you would like to support me further more, be sure to use supporter creator code BRANDY with two eyes in the Fortnite item shop as I am an epic partner with Fortnite, hashtag ad. And if you do use my code, comment down below saying I use your code and I will give your comment a heart. As well, 85% of my viewers who watch my videos are still yet not subscribed. So if this applies to you, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. And to stay updated with more Fortnite related news, make sure you follow all my social medias on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as I do most of my gifting giveaways over there. And a huge appreciation to all my members here on the channel. If you want to become a member, all you have to do is click the link down below in the description as you can get loyalty badges next to your names and you can have access to custom emojis to use in comments and live chat and can get exclusive perks to play games with me or be in future videos. As well, I finally launched a second channel. Make sure you subscribe to BrandyBot as I keep you guys up to date with multiple release dates for skins, bundles, and packs. All right, guys, take a look. We just unlocked the arena wrap for hitting Contender League in last season's division. Let me know what you guys think about it. It's pretty clean, man. Let me know if you guys got it or not down below in the comments, but let me know what y'all think about it. It's pretty cool. Cool, let's go. And as well, take a look. We just unlock the Mega Umbrella Glider finally after winning the game. And yeah, this was I did win a game the first day. I just I never showed you guys. So don't get in the comments saying that I'm bad, but I gotta drop a like sky. Let's go. All right, guys. So in today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to complete all of the Ned, the Eternal Endless Ned quest challenges here in Fortnite from the brand new quest pack guide for you guys are able to earn your V bucks from the quest challenges. Real quickly before we get started with the video, man. All I ask is for one thing from this video. If this video does help you guys out, simply just drop a like subscribe turn the notifications on all and comment down below it worked or something notifying you guys that i helped you guys just let me know down below in the comments and if you guys want to use my code you don't have to but it does support me a lot you don't have to just make sure i support somebody at least and just to know if you do support me it supports me individually so use code brandy with two eyes hashtag as partner especially if you are buying the brand new um ned the eternal endless ned quest pack here in fortnite for save the world you guys can support me by buying it use code brandy with twice hash hash partner but with that being said let's go ahead and get started so um when you buy the pack it will give you access to save the world and by the way if you guys don't know how to buy the endless net uh quest pack it will be here in the item shop it will probably be at the top where it says limiter offers and bundles or at the bottom but basically you have to buy it in order for you to have access to save the world and guys have this as a reminder when you buy the net um the net endless quest pack please be aware that when you buy it it does not give you the v bucks right away because when you buy the v bucks you gotta complete quest challenges and save the world as well when you guys are buying the quest pack from the item shop the quest challenges will not appear here in battle royale you must understand that in order for you to earn the v bucks from the quest pack that you bought you must buy you must complete the quest challenges and save the world to basically give you the V-Bucks that come with it. So once again, when you buy the quest pack, the quest challenges will not be available here in Battle Royale, but in Save the World they will, because that's just the way they do it. So basically, to go into Save the World, you wanna bring up your Save the World game mode option. Once you guys don't know how to do that, just go ahead and press square. Once you guys go ahead and press square, all you simply have to go ahead and do is press square until all of your game modes appear. 
and you want to go into save the world so once you guys go into save the world you want to scroll down where it says by the game epic tab right here it says by epic once you guys see right here that it says by epic you just simply want to go ahead and scroll to the right until you see save the world if you guys see save the world right here if you don't see save the world right here keep scrolling to the right until you find and see save the world but it should be here right here at the middle or it says by the epic tab and this is what it will look like so it says save the world this is what it looks like this is the creator by epic games this is the official one go ahead and click x to play once you guys go ahead and click x to play go ahead and press triangle to play to ready you up and to save the world all right once you guys are loading in just go ahead and be patient with it all right once you guys are uh, patient with it this is what it should look like as you guys can see this is what it does look like your screen so basically to complete the quest challenges for this endless net uh, eternal quest pack you basically want to go ahead and press um um, by the way, this is probably going to look like this if you're barely logging in. Logging in, um, Go ahead and get your daily reward. But basically, to know where to complete your quest challenges, you want to bring up your quest log. Here on the screen where it says by quest. So there's different tabs. We have quest, map, command, armory, locker, llama shop, and Don't even store. You want to go where it says quest, which is the main screen, the first tab. Once you guys see, take a look at the bottom right, it says quest log. Go ahead and press R3. Since I'm on uh, con controller, console, PlayStation 5, it says click R3. And basically you'll get this pop-up. And by the way, there's probably people who are on mobile and don't know how to actually play Save the World. I do have a video on my channel, so look that up, how to play Save the World in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 if you guys need help. But once you guys are in your quest log right here, like I said, you're on the main screen on the quest tab, you want to simply click R3. And then right here where it says there's different tabs, so we have main quest, fully realized cross mark tony and by the way these bundles that you guys see right here all of these like 10 bundles you guys see right here these are from my previous save the world starter packs that i bought but i just never did the quest challenges because i really never had the time to do them but if you guys want to play with me and complete these quest challenges let me know down below in the comments and we can play together to complete the new ned quest pack challenges but you guys see main quest, bundles, bundle, 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 right? Then if you scroll down, it says daily quest, weekly challenges, war game daily challenges, and event challenges, and it keeps going down. We have like different event, side quest challenges, and completed. It'll show your completed ones that you did do. As you guys can see, if you want to know if you completed them the right way, it'll show it right directly right here. So what you want to go base when you buy the quest pack the save the world starter pack you want to look for the name so it's gonna say something like ned eternal endless ned uh starter bundle right here so you basically want to go ahead and click that and then basically it will give you five challenges as you guys can see it will look something like this um you basically have to complete five challenges from these tabs but the total quest that you have to do is nine total quests as you guys can see but there's five different tabs you have to complete in order for you to get all the V-Bucks that come with the pack so basically to complete the quest challenges it basically says you have to complete a daily quest as you guys can see on the right side of my screen that is for challenge number one for challenge number two you have to complete three daily quests and then for challenge number three, you have to complete five daily quests. And then for challenge number four, it says seven daily quests. And then for challenge number five, it says nine daily quests. So it says as well at the top right, I don't know if you guys see it. It says eligible quests are located under the daily quest category of the quest log. So to know what the daily quest challenges are, 
for you to complete these you want to basically go ahead and scroll down all the way where it says daily quest which is all the way at the very bottom you'll see it right here it says daily quest because these are the quest challenges you have to go ahead and complete and it will count towards progress towards your save the world starter pack for the endless net pack so basically it says right here to complete one daily quest it says right there it says by the way i'll read you the whole description it says this is the daily quest you can have up to three daily quests at a time you can swap out one daily quest per day using the replace quest button so you only get three daily quests in 24 hours which is one day so you cannot complete all of the pack in one day if you wanted to um, that's just because you only get three daily quest challenges per 24 hours one day So you have to be patient for you to do it every single day Complete three daily quests and they'll swap out new ones every day But here we have one quest challenge one daily quest. It says Eliminate 300 husks in successful missions as a constructor So basically you have to eliminate 300 husks in a successful mission as a constructor and that will have you at one completed daily quest and then here we have another daily quest we have destroy 10 propane tanks in successful missions often found in an industrial zones so you have to do destroy 10 propane tanks and that will give you another one only only one daily quest complete and then here we have another daily quest right here challenge it says eliminate 300 husks with an assault rifle and successful missions so if you guys complete these this will basically give you another daily quest challenge completion so like I said, it is pretty, pretty self-explanatory. You just got to make sure you guys are doing it the right way. Because if you don't, then it's not going to go ahead and count. So, like I said, you only get three daily quests in a day. So you got to be aware of that. Um, and how do you basically complete these quest challenges? You can basically go ahead and do it by basically going back to your menu option. Um, like I said... Um, you basically want to start up any mode. It could be literally go to the map. Once you guys go to the map tab, it will take you to a quest challenge that you have available. And you can go to the whatever which one you have. And by the way, I forgot to tell you guys that when you guys do even complete daily quests, you'll get some type of rewards. You guys see you get 240 gold, 50 V-Bucks, 21,000 Battle Pass XP, and 50 X-Ray tickets. So these are separate from the pack that comes with challenges rewards but you're basically getting 150 v bucks a day if you do complete these as well which is pretty clutch so um to basically complete these quest challenges how to actually go into the game you basically just want to simply go ahead and go to your map option tab like i said it'll look something similar to this you just want to basically go ahead and click the one that is available and you should be good to go as you guys can see we have this one that i still have to complete and you just have to go ahead and find a section that you want to go ahead and pick for example we could do this one this one gives me rewards as well so go ahead and click x to play and it does give you like mission info so go ahead and click x to play as you guys can see or whatever device you guys are on just play ready and it'll take you into it it'll take you into the lobby and once it takes you into the lobby, it will look something similar like this. Make sure you guys like edit your hero loadout just to be safe. And then basically, um, once you guys do this, like I said, you guys can invite people. So if you guys want to play with me, comment down below so we can complete these Ned Quest challenges pack together. For we can all earn our V-Bucks together. You know, here I do care about my supporters so we can go ahead and play together. It's only up to a squad team, which is four total players, just like in Battle Royale. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to play with me or not. Look, we have so many supporters. I accept all invites, guys. So sometimes just be patient. It doesn't let me add everybody, but it does work. So look, I do care about you guys. Send me a friend request. We can play together. 
we see it just says i have too many friends because that, that's a lot of you guys but once you guys have a squad you could do it solo as well go ahead and press square to launch um which like i said you could either wait for the timer to run out or just go ahead and press square to launch once you guys go ahead and press square to launch it will obviously take you directly to the um game that you're about to go ahead and complete and then basically after this you should be good to go and then i'm gonna show you guys like i said have it have it as a reminder guys because i'm pretty sure i will explain it more once we are in the game so as you guys can see we're officially in the game I in the so i forgot to tell you guys as well i'm pretty sure um when you guys are in the game like i said i don't think you can pause the game but here when you guys are in save the world remember you can still access your quest chat your quest challenges tab just like you can in battle royale as well so if you guys forgot what was your quest challenges press the menu option and this is what it's going to look like and there's three four different options we have inventory loadout objectives and quests and like i said you want to go to the one where it says daily quest because you have to complete daily quests in order for it to count towards your um save the world starter pack so it says like i said we have to eliminate 300 husks and you guys can even pin your quest by pressing r3 since i'm on playstation and you can pin all three of i think can you plan three yeah you can pin all three of them um but i don't know if they show in game um yes they actually do so take a look at the top left of my screen it says um um it shows the quest challenge that you have to do like i said i simply just pinned them just for you guys can visually see them easily i have them all pinned so take a look at the top left it says we have to eliminate 300 husks um destroy 10 propane tanks and eliminate husk with an assault rifle which i'm using right now you guys can see i do have an assault rifle we can swap it out you guys can see i have some um assault rifles in my loadout you guys gotta make sure you guys are in your loadout so you guys can see if you have an ar or not and here we have one i don't know if this will count um that comet strike has everyone on edge. I don't know if that commented. collect some shards for analysis. I don't know if that was a husk. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was a wolf. But you see, once you guys see the pr progression, it will count progress towards it. But like I said, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do it now. Um, if you guys still need further help, comment down below. But you just simply want to go ahead and just find husk and eliminate 300 of them. And then basically the destroy propane tanks. Now, um, I don't know if this counts. These are like the Hello. old ones. It's my first day. Um, yeah, so I don't know if that you counts. You want to look for it. propane tanks. Let's keep so here we have a husk. Like I said, this is the wolf. I don't think it'll count. Yeah, you want to basically find husks, not wolves, all right? Um, but like I said, propane tanks, you just got to basically be on the lookout for that. And you'll be good to go as you guys can see collect research so these are just different quest part. challenges that I'm doing well, right now. but like I said hopefully this video helped you guys out guys if it did drop a like subscribe that's all I ask for comment down below if you guys have any other questions or information as I'm just always here to help you guys out um and you guys can see that it is counting take a look at my top left screen um we have a different challenge that I'm doing right now it says research equipment collected so it does count guys um you know i'm just doing other quest challenges at the same time and i'm just giving you guys an example on how it does show when you have one quest challenge so. is complete um as yeah. well i'm pretty sure you guys uh, get the hang of it you know the more you do play save the world the more easy and self-explanatory it would be but you know i'm always just here to help you guys out how to actually complete the daily quest challenges for you to have progress towards you your save the world starter pack all right so we're gonna go over here this is just another daily objective that i'm trying to do it says we need to find the target and then we have to like build stuff and stuff you guys can see so like i said we're just doing other quest challenges at the same time um, so these are husks guys these are husks see look at these are the husks guys you need 300 husks these are the husks you need to do guys so i did say it was an animal obviously it's not these are the husks 
see how it's counting it's basically counted you gotta do 300 of these guys um oh my god i almost eliminated him so we got a free gift uh, that's cool uh with an assault rifle so yeah i'm pretty sure you guys get the hang of it just make sure you guys follow along like i said we might have a different map um, or you guys can do the similar map uh, challenge that, that I am in, but it does count guys, but like I said, make sure you guys use your assault rifle, and our daily quest challenges might be different, um, just because we did, um, different stuff, but hopefully this video helped you guys out guys, if it did, drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, you just wanna basically keep destroying propane tanks, eliminating husks, and it will oh, come. come. By the way, guys, I am wearing the Renegade Waiter. This is the Renegade Waiter, the Renegade Raider skin. Can't. I just don't have the style unlocked yet, but so. that is pretty, pretty interesting, you know? Nope. So, let me know what you guys think about it, man. It's pretty cool. Um, here's the hat. Look. Think. I'm just doing it. Oh my days. This is just another challenge I'm doing. These are so funny. But yeah, guys, like I said, let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to play together. Hopefully, this video helped you guys out. If it did, drop a like. Um, subscribe, turn on notice. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch y'all boys in the next one. By the way, if you guys don't know what propane tanks are, here. Um, propane tanks are basically like gas. Um, which you gotta go ahead and so find it more around the area. So just use your, you can use your pickaxe to destroy it, your, uh, weapon and stuff like that. And you should be good to go. But yeah guys, like I said, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, drop a like, subscribe. Let me know down below in the comments. But you guys gotta make sure you complete the mission. You cannot just back out. I'm pretty sure if you just back out just as I, as I did, I don't think that'll count guys. So you guys gotta make sure... Um, that it does count and complete the mission in order for it to count and then basically as well like I'm gonna show you guys that I have the Winnegade Waiter I just don't have the style look we have the Winnegade Waiter the Renegade Raider and Save the World how cool it is but yeah guys like I said hopefully this video helped you guys out if it did drop a like subscribe like I said just make sure you guys complete him like I said if you have stacked bundles as I do as well that I have not completed, if you're doing it at the same time, it's going to count for all of these. So just imagine if I complete all of these packs. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 with the new one that's available right now. If I complete all of these, I'm going to earn about to like almost 20,000 V-Bucks if I complete all of my Save the World starter packs quest challenges that's insane so make sure you guys do them man but hopefully this video helped you guys out if it did drop a like subscribe guys that's all i ask for simply just drop a like and subscribe and share this video out with a friend who needs help because that's what i do here in the channel and one more thing if you want to support me you don't have to all i ask for if you want to use code brandy with two eyes hash rush partner especially if you're buying the brand new pack bundle and with that being said i'll catch y'all boys in the next one thank you so much peace and see ya i appreciate and i love y'all peace and bye